it's Don, the auction professor here. Um, I've got a haul today that I'm going to show you. I paid $139 from a picker I just got back just a little bit ago. Um, I'm going to show you close-ups on everything, but this, this is actually like... Um, just for decorations, I guess. It's made out of brass and wood. It's actually from Italy, and it's probably, say, circa 1960s would be my guess. Stuff like this I usually get 20 25 bucks for. I don't think I'll have any problem selling it. It's well made. Nice artwork all the way around, if you can see that. So it's made to look like an early one, like the big style one. So Before we go over, though, to the close-ups here, I just wanted to shoot out that I am on Instagram now. I'm under the auction professor as well on Instagram. Uh, we just started, so you will be seeing some one minute video lessons on there as well um, I have not had a chance with the issues with our power this week but starting this weekend or next week on Monday I will be putting a couple one minute uh, lessons on Instagram as well so be welcome to follow me there uh, I do have a link below but let's head right on over to the actual close-ups here okay so here we go this is the first item this is a Monet uh, it's actually from a display for the jewelry company probably 70s or 80s would be my guess Nice condition. I paid a dollar for it. I expect to get, say, maybe 14 15 bucks out of this, maybe even higher than that. I haven't looked these up in a while. I've had a couple of these before, um, and it goes from like 14 to 24 somewhere in that range is what I got out of these. Here's another item. This is a little coin purse, probably off a keychain, uh, made in Hong Kong. So it's definitely 60s or 70s, and I can surely tell that by the zipper on there. Little change purse. I paid a dollar for this as well. I have a clip, the little ring that I will stick on here, an original one from the 60s that will go with this. Um, and then it'll be a keychain or whatever the case may be. I expect this will get me 15 or so bucks minimum, maybe even 20 as a vintage Hong Kong purse. Um, I might even put 34 50 on it and just see what happens. Again, I got 139 in everything here. Here's an interesting piece. Uh, this usually gives it away that it's earlier. Um, this is actually, let me see, there it is. It's a Maiden Stratton, England. It's a comb of some kind, very fancy one. Uh, for a dollar, I figured I'd take a shot on it. I figure I'll get eight, ten bucks minimum on something like this. Again, I was only there for a little while. I had a little bit of time. I had to pick up my one son, um, so I had an hour or so to kill. He had called me the other day. I kind of put it off till today. Here's a compact. Uh, again, I think I got a dollar twenty-five in this. I bought a few things for a quarter just for my son, um, so I don't have everything here. I, my wife kept a a uh, chicken bomb, one of the chicken rubber chickens that makes the real loud whining noise. Uh, anyway, so this one here, I figure I'll get 15 bucks or so. At the bottom end, 10 or 12, literally. So for a dollar, quick turn probably to mid-mod century, 1950s by the bullseye on the back. Next one here is a really cute postcard. Um, you can pretty much see it right there. It's an early one. No fancy named uh, company or anything on it, but I figure for a dollar on this one, I'll probably get 15 or 20 bucks out of it. It's just cute. So, you know, I don't care what time of year it is. Obviously, it's for Easter, but this one will sell just because people love the anthropomorphic rabbits. Anthropomorphic in general is what they like. So let's just flip through a couple here real quick. Uh, Christmas Carol books. Now, these are all promotional. Um, this one's not, though. Uh, this one, uh, Contribution to the True Spirit of Beauty and Christmas. Um, just kind of some kind of presentation. But it's Charles Dickens. It's probably from the, say, 30s, maybe even 20s, just by the looks of it. Uh, I would say this one here I'll probably get 8 10 bucks for. That's about typical for something like this. Here's, um, now these are all from the same company. These are all advertisements. I got a dollar in each one of these two, by the way. Uh, Northern States Life Insurance. These go for like 12, 15 bucks all day long. They're nice with Santa. There's nice, joyous characters on them. Here's another one. Um, you can see Merry Christmas again, Northern States. They issued one of these a year, usually in some of these, um, another Northern States. Uh, I haven't seen any from Northern States, and these are, yeah, 20s on these too. So I'm pretty confident, you know, 10, 15 bucks a piece on these on average. I'll probably list them later on in the year, like in the end of third quarter, though. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff like this I'm saving. Now's the time to buy all these Christmas items. This one's a John Hancock. Stuff like this I usually get about 14, 15 bucks for out of season, and then say 20 or so, 18, 20 in season. So just keep that in mind. Here's, I think these are wee books. I think this one's called. It's Peter Rabbit um, at the farm. Um, these usually do fairly well for us anyway. So uh, hopefully you can see it fairly well there. It's an early one. Now let's see here. 
Uh, it's an Altimus. That's a common name one. 1917. It's an original. Probably first edition. Very cute. Uh, it is all here. I did double check that too. So these are like 20, 25 bucks in this condition. It's actually pretty good. I may tighten up and, and clamp it a little bit to uh, fix the binding a little bit, make it a little tighter. So anyway, I do discuss stuff like that and probably will have one coming out soon in my Patreon for those of you in my Patreon group. Let's get the magazines out. Now this is a Quest Digest. It's like a magazine, 1939. It's issue number four. These I get like 14 to say 20 bucks. I see people try and sell them for like 30 or 40. Average, even for the first issue of this one's only like 20 bucks. It has some minor issues there. But other than that, it's actually in good condition uh, other than that it hasn't been filled in and, and some of there's from the pages are folded and there's a few other issues but for 1939 this is pretty good honestly so it'll be a quick uh, turn that's a dollar two i paid uh, this one's a dollar this one i usually save till around christmas time these religious ones here for a dollar it'll just set there or i might list it up here i'll probably get like 10 bucks for this again it's a dollar now here's Strongheart. Uh, this was a, I think, a TV or radio show, um, and then a serial in the movies, if I'm not mistaken. These go for about ten bucks. It's just a cute little kids book, honestly. Uh, nothing fancy or special though, but it's in really nice condition um, for the most part. Most of these are usually trashed out from the age that these were from, uh, and this is, uh, let's see here, what does that say? 1926. So Max Schaefer Productions. Um, I'm gonna do well now. Ten bucks, quick flip. Now this one here, um, a lot of people put these up in bad condition, and they just don't sell in bad condition. This one's got a nice, decent spine. Um, it's Little Folk's Story of Rin Tin Tin. This is the original. It's a Warner Brothers exclusive. The last one of these, and they're from 1927, so it's the first edition. Last one of these, I got uh, like $22.50, I think. This one I put up for $27 because the inside is just spotless almost on the inside of this. It's just a really nice copy of it. Um, so anyway, we'll do well on this one here. So again, a dollar a piece on that one. Now this one I spent two dollars on, uh, just because of the topic. Teddy the Talking Cat. Now there, you won't find one of these for sale anytime soon that I can imagine. Um, this one I'll probably get like thirty or forty bucks out of this one because it's got the dust jacket. Uh, let's see the age. I didn't really look at that when I was looking for it. Nineteen sixteen. So yeah, I'm probably thirty or forty bucks, maybe even a little higher than that. It has some uh, really awesome uh, anthropomorphic um, kitchen utensils in it. Uh, the rest, I don't think any other colored illustrations. Oh, yeah, there's another one right there. So that's really what you want. Make sure they have some colored illustrations in it. Those usually push it. Looks like there's one more. But anyway, so for my two bucks on this one here, 30, 40 bucks, easy. I'm going to save the best for last, too. Now, these are just a couple discs. I got 50 cents a piece into them. This is I'm Late, uh, The Caucus Race. Now, this is from Alice in Wonderland. I'll probably get, say, 6 to 12 bucks on this one. It's in almost mint condition here. Uh, looks like it's been unplayed. These are the kind that people miss most of the time because they don't think the Disney ones are worth a ton of money. And, and for the most part, they're not. 50 cents, this one I'll get. It's a promo. Uh, the Siamese Cat Song. And then it's got a Lady um, from Lady and the Tramp. This one's like 6 8 bucks on a good day. And it's mint, so I'm sure I'll get that for it. Here's another one. This is Tales of the Texas Rangers. Now, I've had the actual sleeve with this one as well. Sleeve-wise, I think I got $34.50. Without the sleeve, these are like 6 8 bucks. Again, I got $0.50 cents into them, so I'm not really worried about that. Let's get some of this away. Uh, these are the last ones. I'm going to show you these last here. Um, let's just show you this. Now, I was hoping this was all here, but this is um, very early. Um, and there's some information on here. I don't know. Let's see if I can zoom in on it here for you. Um, this is from 1863, Henry Tolman. Now, I've seen this one undamaged once or twice um, that showed up in some Civil War stuff that I have. The cover actually goes like this, but you can see it again here. This is an early one. And basically, it's just sheet music, Civil War times uh, sheet music. And there's a couple better songs in here. Um, I know it's not complete because it's missing the last few pages in the back cover, but there's enough in here in the Civil War section. He gave this to me, mind you. This was free just because of the condition. Um, but like Sultan's Band March and stuff, these are early ones. It's all there. It has the words still. Um, it's like a compilation on this whole thing. Grand Russian March. This kind of thing here, I'll probably get 15 20 bucks minimum. Again, this was free, so... 
Now here's another one. This one's 1876, I think. Now I don't buy most of these, but for a dollar, I'll take a shot because the last one of these, it's got some extra. These don't actually belong in it. Um, let me see here. I think it's like 1870 something. Oh, let's see here. First edition copyright, 1876, uh, 1879. So this is the second edition, but it's you know, violin music, same kind of thing, 1879. These I get 15 or 20 bucks for as well, too, on these. This is a original um, Oklahoma, the actual stage show, before it was a movie, from what I understand. And there was other things in here, including this uh, Helen Traubel. Um, I'm sure she's some sort of performer, singer. Um, ben Arden is a, a um, like a big band group, so I'm sure that's what this is. It's from a specific hotel. This was actually in here for the same dollar, as well as these tickets here. Um, I'm not really sure um, if these are for Oklahoma or her performance, so I'm not sure what I'll do with these. I'm going to keep these together for, for right now, but they're 1956 tickets, so um, if I can tie them down to one specific on here, um, I should make some money. But this is the original booklet here. Um, you can tell by who's actually in it, who's playing the, the lead. But you can tell if it's a first one by who's playing the leads. Gordon McRae, Rod Steiger is in here too, James Whitmore, Shirley Jones is in here. Um, let's see here. Eddie Albert too from Green Acres, Gene Nelson. I mean, these are this is the version of this you want. Um, I haven't looked this one up recently. Um, I've had a couple of these before, believe it or not. This kind of stuff shows up fairly often. I'm guessing 14, 15 bucks minimum. Again, a dollar on that one as well. The Other Man in Liz's Life, Photo Play. Elizabeth Taylor stuff always sells for us. This was a dollar. I can fix the little thing up there. There's a little tiny spot, but uh, this is 10, 15 bucks minimum. Again, a dollar. Let me turn some of these around. This is the 50th anniversary issue of Photoplay. It's got some wrinkling here. I may fix that. I may not. Um, it's got a little discoloration. Some of that can be cleaned up a little bit, um, other than a little folds here or not. But again, 50th anniversary issue here. I should get 14, 15 bucks on that one. Here's Climax. It's a men's style magazine, like Adventure and stuff like that. Um, I would say this would be considered pre-code almost. Um, there's some almost pinup style artwork in here too. Um, so, I mean, that's just the type of magazine this is. I will probably get about 12 or 15 for this one too. Again, dollar. A lot of this was a dollar. I'm going to show you. I paid some money for a certain, uh, certain few items here at the end. Lowell Thomas, Seven Wonders of the World. This is a Cinerama um, little booklet. These would have been available actually at the Cinerama. Um, and I look for these occasionally too. I mean, I run in sometimes like, 50 of these all at once from the same one i'll list a couple at a time and then just sit on them or i'll throw them up on amazon too i do that on some of these some of these type of material do sell on amazon i know people laugh and i i say that and they say nothing like that sells but i've been selling on amazon for a while and i sell vintage on there as well it's picking up steam believe it or not um, and then let's swing these around here. Uh, this is Holiday Magazine, 1962. I've had this issue before. Comp-wise, these usually go for, let's say, um, 20 bucks or so on this specific issue here. Another Holiday Magazine. This one has Santa. Now, this one I'll get about 18 or 20 bucks on it. I may wait till Christmas and list it because I'll get a little more for this issue here. Here's Post. Uh, this one I instantly uh, was hoping it was in decent condition. It's all here. I actually checked this one out myself. The Beatles Post, I don't care which one. This is a 1966 one. This is like 20, 25 bucks, even in this condition with a few little issues here. Actually, that might be something stuck to it. Yeah, I might be able to fix that. And same with this, the, the actual label. Those can be carefully removed, believe it or not. So again, 20, 25 bucks on this one. All these were a dollar. Here's another one. Now, the reason I got this one is because Batman on here. Now, there's, um, I think it's Post or Life that has Batman on the cover. Adam West is Batman. Um, and those sell for like 25 to say 60 bucks. This one here is not as much. I usually get about 14, 15 bucks for this one. I believe it has cartoons or something in it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to dig through the whole thing. But again, it's got Dr. Spock in it too, uh, child psychologist. Here's just one other issue, 1960 of Holiday. 
uh, French Canada. It's got some other things in here, lots of ads and stuff. These usually go fairly well. Not every issue sells, um, but I usually get, uh, say, 8 to, say, 20 bucks on average on most every just common issue on this magazine. Now, when you do what I do a lot, you're going to run into the same magazine over and over and over and over again, like the Batman ones and Post and Life. I've had probably a dozen or more of Batman on the cover. So anyway, let's move on to another one. This one had California, the California desert. So this issue here, I'm expecting 20 or so bucks out of. It's got some nice artwork on here. Samuel Martin, um, well-known, like an abstract 60s mod artist. This is from 62 as well uh, also. So this one should be very, very good uh, for us. So 20, 30 bucks. Again, a dollar. Now the best pieces that I got out of this is this. And I've got more than this. I've got two bag or two of these packets of just these. And in fact, I think there's some in the other one. But these are all, let's get this zoomed in there so you can see these a little better. These are all from 1860s. Now, I've got these dated from like 1864 through 68. These are just the 67s. I got 100 bucks into all of these, and I'm skipping a whole bunch. These are just um, actual uh, engraved um, with actual postage stamps. They're from a Cincinnati, the Central National Bank in Cincinnati. has a nice blue seal there. Some signatures on these can be worth some money. There's a couple that look like it's a bank president. This isn't one of them. I'm just showing you what's on the back. Um, there's all kinds of information on the back sometimes. So check these out for signatures sometimes. I only think of that when they're big banks like the Cincinnati Bank here. But again, there's a bunch of these. Now for the hundred bucks or so I have into just these, these average like seven, eight bucks a piece for the common ones. Now I'm probably going to sell a couple of these for like top dollar, like 50, 60 bucks a piece would be my guess. A couple of them right off the bat. And then they'll stagger down and then I'll eventually be down to like the seven ninety nine dollars uh, on these. And that's what I do with all these. I don't really worry. There may be a couple varieties of stamps in here as well. So if that's the case, maybe the stamps will have some value too, depending on the stamps. For the most part, I don't mess with stamps other than these early ones. If you take off the stamps on here, you can usually get a decent price for just the stamps if that's something you'd be interested in, too. Um, and again, there's a bunch of these. There's signatures all over the place on these, too. So that's one envelope. Um, and I'm not going to show you them all because there are a bunch that look just like that. And then there's another just random one here, too. Now, these have a uh, postmark in it, too, or a revenue. They're called BOBs, back of book, all of these. These are back of books, the stamps, the revenue stamps. So anyway, and this needs to be ironed out or taken care of. Now, I do, as I said, show that in my Patreon group if you want to know how to fix up some of this. It has some nice cancellations on here. Uh, Titusville, PA, 1874. Here's another version or another one of them. Uh, again, there's a stamp in there. It's hard to see. Um, that there is a little bit of damage. I'm not really worried about that. And there's a couple other ones. So for the price, these odd ones usually go fairly well for me, especially if they have like paid marks and things along that line. Revenue stamps do sell fairly well for us. Um, but that's about it. What I got there, again, there's 140 some out of these here. Um, my net return on this should be around 850 in profit. Some of it I will get right away, like probably a big chunk of it, um, because some of these items move really quick, like certain issues in the magazines. These should sell fairly well. So anyway, that's what I got. Well, there you go. There's my pick for this morning. I've got several more places to go this week still, so I will have some more videos on stuff like this. There is a antique flea market this weekend that I will be going to with my son, so with all good luck, I will come back from there with some good items as well, too, and I'm going to shoot some video in at the flea market to uh, just show you. Maybe I'll include some more of the haggling and things like that um, and some interaction with people as well, too, so hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also with the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. Yeah.